The visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control now reports uh, that uh, we are uh, now in the fly-around mode. Uh, so the Soyuz uh, vehicle uh, has approached uh, slightly ahead of schedule, actually, uh, to begin its fly-around. Uh, this is uh, a uh, typical uh, means of aligning the Soyuz precisely uh, to the uh, hoist module of the International Space Station. This is a fly-around angle of about 110 degrees uh, to uh, permit the Soyuz to be uh, precisely aligned uh, with the docking port uh, of the hoist module for a, a few seconds, if you will, of station keeping, enabling the Russian flight controllers here in Koryov uh, to be able to assess their systems uh, before the final command is given for the terminal phase of the rendezvous, final approach for contact and capture. But now back uh, as we are in the uh, final phase of the rendezvous to bring the Soyuz uh, MSO-2 vehicle to its docking to the International Space Station. The uh, Soyuz is now just 290 meters away, uh, still in the process of its fly around to precisely align itself uh, with the poised module on the space facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. All of the Soyuz systems are in excellent shape. The Soyuz is currently uh, at the International Space Station, both crossing uh, the uh, west coast of Africa directly over the Gambia, moving from southwest to northeast at an altitude of 250 statute miles, trailing uh, those two vehicles, the orbital ATK Cygnus unmanned cargo craft that will arrive uh, for its capture and installation uh, to the International Space Station on Sunday morning. But first things first, and that is the arrival of Kimbrough, Rizhikov, and Barasenko just minutes away as uh, the fly around is about to be completed for a period of a few seconds of station keeping that will enable Russian flight controllers here at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow uh, to complete final checks on the Soyuz spacecraft before the uh, command is given for final approach and docking. The Soyuz MS-02 vehicle currently sitting uh, passively at a distance of about 192 meters away from the International Space Station, currently crossing the border between Mali and Algeria, moving from southwest to northeast, in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. Uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station are looking respectively at uh, each other, and the uh, crew members aboard the station, uh, NASA's Kate Rubens, Takoya Onishi of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and Station Commander Anatoly Ivanishin of Roscosmos with an uh, excellent view of uh, the Soyuz vehicle and the Soyuz uh, similarly looking at the station as they await uh, final approval for the command to initiate the final approach for docking. Ground rate is decreasing. We have a small wobble in fire An excellent view of the uh, Soyuz MSO2 and its thruster firings uh, to orient itself and its uh, solar array wings into the proper orientation uh, for the uh, initiation of final approach. Uh, we'll be standing by a short time from now uh, to receive that word from the Russian flight controllers here in Koryov. All Soyuz systems in excellent shape. The crew reports they are ready for docking. Range 75 meters, rate point 34. Flying over uh, the heart of Italy at an altitude of 250 miles, uh, a great view of the Soyuz MSO-2. Two days after its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, its solar arrays properly oriented for the final few feet uh, prior to contact and capture. Okay. Range 49 meters. Expecting readiness. And now range 47 and range, range uh, point uh, 22. A point one two. We have slight misalignment of crosshairs and pitch.
now passing over Russian ground stations uh, over Romania. Uh, again, a, a great view of the Soyuz MSO-2 spacecraft uh, closing in just about uh, 35 meters away from its docking to the Poisk module to complete a two-day journey from the launch pad at Baikonur and to restore the space station to a six-person complement. Just underneath the docking port, you can see that diamond-shaped uh, mechanism. That is the docking target uh, to which the automated rendezvous system will align the crosshairs uh, just a few moments from now. Again, uh, no issues. Uh, the Soyuz being guided in automatically at this point for its uh, docking, just 22 meters separating Soyuz and the International Space Station. The center of the target is lower and to the left of one square, and we have a slight uh, deviation in your. Range 15 meters, 1.5 squares along the target diameter. We did not observe any um, object. The rate is 0 0.12. 13 meters now between uh, the Soyuz and its uh, docking port. On the uh, space-facing side of the International Space Station, the Poisk module coming in at a rate of just over one-tenth of a meter per second, right on the marks, no issues reported, flying over southern Russia. And slight deviation in pitch. Eight meters now separating uh, the two vehicles as we stand by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Standing by for contact. We still have slight misalignment. We have we have contact, docking confirmed, and capture confirmed at 4.52 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station and Soyuz MSO-2 flew 251 statute miles over southern Russia. Again, docking confirmed at 4.52 a.m. Central Time, 12.52 p.m. Moscow Time.